Welcome to two examples of adding and subtracting time. In the first example, Derry recently flew from Phoenix, Arizona to Asheville, North Carolina. On his outbound flight, he flew first to Atlanta, which took 3 hours 35 minutes, then to Asheville, which took 45 minutes. What was his total flying time in hours and minutes? To find the total flying time, we need to add these two times. We will add them vertically, lining up the common units. So we have three hours, 35 minutes, plus 45 minutes. Looking at the minutes, 35 plus 45 is equal to 80. So we have 80 minutes, and we still have the three hours. So the total flying time is three hours, 80 minutes. However, because one hour is equal to 60 minutes, we don't want to leave it in this form because the number of minutes is more than one hour. We exchange 60 of these 80 minutes for one hour. To show this, we can write three hours, 80 minutes as three hours plus 60 minutes plus 20 minutes. This is still 80 minutes, but now we perform an exchange. 60 minutes equals one hour. So this is equal to three hours plus one hour plus 20 minutes and therefore the total flying time is four hours, 20 minutes. For question B, Raquel and Samuel went to the movies together, but ended up watching different movies that started at the same time. Raquel's movie was three hours, 15 minutes long. Samuel's movie was one hour, 55 minutes long. How long did Samuel have to wait for Raquel to finish watching her movie? To determine Samuel's wait time, we need to subtract one hour, 55 minutes from three hours, 15 minutes. We'll line this up vertically. We have three hours, 15 minutes, minus one hour, 55 minutes. Now looking at the minutes, notice how we cannot subtract 55 minutes from 15 minutes, and therefore we need to perform an exchange with one of these three hours. Remember, one hour is equal to 60 minutes, so if we exchange one of these three hours for 60 minutes and add it to 15 minutes, we can write three hours, 15 minutes as two hours, 75 minutes. And we still need to subtract one hour, 55 minutes. If I lost you here with this conversion, we can write three hours, 15 minutes as three hours plus 15 minutes. And three hours is equal to two hours plus 60 minutes because one hour equals 60 minutes. And 60 minutes plus 15 minutes does give us 75 minutes or a total time of two hours, 75 minutes. And now we can subtract 55 minutes from 75 minutes. 75 minutes minus 55 minutes is 20 minutes. Two hours minus one hour is one hour. Samuel had to wait one hour, 20 minutes. I hope you found this helpful.